first model done. Now to the second. So, we need a base. We need torsos. Now, I'm thinking to myself, what a wonderful war. This one on the end looks rather rad, so we're going to go with this one. Snip, snip, and snip. Nice and smooth. Excellent. Snip, snip. That was a loud snappity snip and snip. Push. Very nice. So I'm thinking we're gonna make the missile guy because who does not like the missiles? Just first, I have to find the right legs among this cacophony of grey. Ah, found them. Snip, snip. Nice. Do 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 snip and a sun up. Oh, my sandpaper's gone to the warp. Ain't that not so lovely? There we go. Right, I think we'll put them together now. Ah, a nice square hole. A wee blob. Boop. There we go. Excellent. Take a knee, my friend. And split. Split. They're truly accurate and beautiful. There we go. Now let's get back to basics. <laughs> Lovely. Excellent. Then we'll do the blah, 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 blah. Stick. Excellent. Thankfully, I spotted his missile earlier, because I'm never one to miss on a missile launcher. Phantasmagorical. Now, this booklet claims variation, either just the front, or extra missiles, and a missile coming out of the front, and we both know which one we're gonna do, because it looks rad. Snip, snip, boop, and snip a doo. How drode. Dun, 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 dun. You know what I love? It's the 41st, possibly 42nd millennium, and missiles are still a thing. It, it makes me so pleased. How do I attach this thing? Ah, I see. Let's make this permanent. And you just jam it in there. I said you just jam it in there. I said you just jam it in there. There we go. Ugh. Missile launchers, am I right? Nice. Not a big bada boom. I love missiles as much as the next guy, but obviously there's only so many missiles to launch. It's like pruning a bonsai tree, but it's, it's missiles. Let's do it, my friends. Let's do it. Let's glue it. Nice. Now he's packing spare heat. Speaking of spare heat, let's get this one going. I've it has occurred to me, I have no idea how I'm going to paint this damn thing. But hey, that's an issue for future me. Eh. And the snip. There we go, I didn't even have to glue it. I'll probably just take it out down the line if it gets annoying. Now we're going to get his other arm. Snip. Snip. That's the second time today my sandpaper's gone to the warp. Once could be an unfortunate accident. Twice, I think we need to call the Inquisitor. Let's glue this boy together. Here we go. Yes. Let us do this. Ah, well, this is interesting. Hmm. Well, all his limbs have just fallen to pieces. <laughs> there we go. Right, now he's finding his inner zen. Let us attach this one in accordance. And that's actually much better. There we go, okay. I should have done that from the beginning, really. He seems to be aiming it straight. He ain't the soldier from TF2. He ain't gonna be rocket jumping nowhere. Okay, in hindsight, that would be sick. Right, now he needs his rocket loading backpack. Snip, a snip, a sneeples. That was rough. You know what to do when things are rough. Well, this one should be a nice doddle. Splooch, very nice. Uh, sweep. For the guy's head, I like this one on the end. He has the little extra crossy eye. His name is Mike. Missile Man Mike. All right, Mike, let's help you get ahead in life. And the most key part is to make sure that you are looking where you are aiming. In hindsight, I probably did not use the best head for him. Eh. Because his reticule shit on his head is on the same side as the stuff for that, so it doesn't fit well. So he is now going to go in a spare bin. Instead, I think this one could be Mike's head. Mike head 2.0. An extra blob, just in case. That's much better. I think Mike also agrees. He shall do his chapter master proud. And now for his pauldron. I'm thinking just giving him mm, this one right here. Very good. There we go. 
Excellent. Now he's looking nice and space marine -y. That almost sounds like an Italian cuisine. Hey, Mikey, gonna get us some of that space marine -y. And with that, Mike is ready for priming. I don't even know what fell down. I hope it wasn't Mike. It probably was. Hey, it was Mike, and now he is wounded. Mike had an accident, and it wasn't his fault. And yet, despite that, he still held on to the launcher. That looks about right. Magnifique. It's prime time, baby. Time to get Missile Mike nice and spruced up. Let's get that black. Let's get them thick, chunky thighs done. Now here be a good question. Who has the stronger thighs? Batman, Chuck Norris, or a Space Marine? Something we may never know. Alas. Oh damn, it's not just got purity seal right in his crotch. Damn. Now that's a sign of something right there. And I won't lie, I've got no clue what colour to make the missile launcher. I think I'm gonna start with the uh, Mechanica standard grey. Let's get layering that grey in. So many nooks and crannies. Why does launching a projectile have to involve such complicated machinery? That'll do, I think. Just a little on the shoulder. It's fine. It's fine. Now where else could I add this grey? Thinking maybe some of these. I don't like how my brush hairs like to split as I'm painting. But that undersole there could be probably grey. Here we go. He stepped in some grey stuff. That's about all the grey for now. Of course, he's got the missiles there too. No, no, no. Let's do a bit of the gold, I think, while that dries off a little. Get him good and blinging. A little bit of gold smudging, but other than that, spiffing and spanking. Oop, he just passed out with all this bling. Yeah, I think that's all the gold, really. Now let's move on over to Lead Belcher. It's not too bad, it's a bit messy, but I can tie it up later in some parallel universe. Yeah, right, I guess I better do the eyes. Mephiston Red, I think, was a good one for it. Okay, here we go. Sorry, you may not get a good angle on this, guys, but the focus, the focus is real. say he's got it shut. Ah, oh, the other one was terrible. But no one can see it because it's hidden. Hidden under the missile launcher. <laughs> dab, 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 dab. Oh, that reminds me. He has his purity crotch, doesn't he? Why would you have that there? Okay, that actually went pretty well. Pretty good. Now I've just got to figure out uh, the best way to paint the smoke. 
Let's jump back to Lead Belcher very briefly. Now I like the idea that the fins stay blue, because ultramarines. How best to do the smoke? That's another question. Probably a mixture of white and grey. Let's add some white to this fool. edges pop. Ooh, the skull on the back. Going back to, of course, Lead Belcher. And once that's dry, applying some gold. Not going to worry too much about the edges, I'll just tidy that up after the fact. I guess Nuln Oil is actually probably exactly what I need to shade the, uh, the white. Let's give this a quick spin, shall we? There we are. I would have to find a better way to shade that smoke, but still, good try. Slide a bit of this dark brown to the ground down here. Why is the ground so watery? Probably a swamp. Hmm, maybe that cable could be black. Yeah, sod it. My hope is that as my confidence increases, I will be able to do more elaborate color schemes. But in the meantime, we're going to stick to some very basic ones. I wonder if this is what the Emperor had to do in his Himalayan labs when he first made the Space Marines. Did he literally just have a massive paintbrush and he just painted them all up? It turns out that the Unification Wars and the Great Crusade it was all just an excuse to paint soldiers. And then it all just escalated and he was too embarrassed to just come out and say what it was, so it just kept getting worse and... Yeah. Yeah, it looks better. It looks much better. Just add a bit of something. I think I'll add a little green light on this little, uh, what appears to be a rangefinder, possibly a flashlight. Who really knows? I wasn't in that meeting. Trying to remember how to do the purity seal. Uh, b -b 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 Ow, my elbow. Medic. There we are. Can't remember if that's the right color for his purity crotch, but it's, it is now. Bit of earth shade. Ooh, that looks pretty nice, actually. Ooh, you know something? Earth shade. He has earth on his feet. Let's apply some of this to that. Right, well, I'm pretty confident. The mic here is more or less done when it comes to paint. Now for my favourite bit. The goddamn pauldrons transfer sheet. Right, so he's long range support. So I'll definitely be doing fire support. And I'll be doing one of these. Yeah, not looking forward to this bit. This bit sucks. Cunning plan. Put it part way off. Sort of stick it like that. It kind of worked, it's just now stuck to the brush. It's not straight in the slightest, but it's fine. Mike might not be either. There we go. It's so ballsed up, but. <laughs> It's on. That's what matters. I will, someone please tell me how this is done, because it is evil. What a way to end a model, by doing something that makes you want to literally commit homicide. Good thing that in the galaxy of the far future there is only war. Bad thing, I'm not there. Ugh, I just can't use my brush, it's just not strong enough. Oh. But wait, maybe I can. Or maybe I can't. Hmm. I need another tool. Uh, I tore it. Oh. I don't know. I, I, I feel like I need to do something. Pray to the Emperor, maybe. It's on. It's on. And I'm not going to touch it. Done. Nice. Nice. Looking good, Mike. Looking very good. Not bad for a second one. Bit annoyed about that yellow there, but eh, 
what you're gonna do, what you're gonna do. Uh, nothing written on his purity seal, but I don't think anyone dare go there, it's too pure. See you all for the next one.